March winds have come early this year. It's so windy and so cold out here right now. Please excuse my sniffling. So this is a collaboration video on goat fencing. This collaboration includes the channels Farmer G, Wholesome Roots, Papa Pepper, and Home in the Sticks, BW Family Farm. Now, goats are notoriously difficult to keep contained. Now, I've known some people with well-behaved goats and haven't had an issue, but that's not my situation. <laughs> I had some challenges with um, fencing my property for goats. Um, the first challenge is that my goats are crazy goats. <laughs> they jump. Um, Buttercup especially, she does not mind electric fencing. She will go right through it. And there are climbers, there are pushers, so I need a fence that was tall enough, strong enough, that they couldn't get over it or push it down. Yes, what? What? Oh, be nice. Quit. Another challenge is that I live in a wetland. <laughs> it is wet most of the year here. have seasons where there's standing water in early spring and maybe late fall if it's really rainy where I will have some standing water in places. But now if you try to dig down about 12, 14 inches down, there is water. So when putting in fence posts, that's definitely a challenge. Um, during the seasons, if it's um, you know how the ground will swell and heave in the winter time when it's frozen and when it gets wet, you know the ground moves, so it moves fence posts. Guys, quit! Ah! Goats! Talking about how you tear the crap out of fences. Yes! Yes, indeed! Another challenge that I have is a budget challenge. So what I ended up doing is I had some friends of mine help me. Asmina, come in here! I had about an acre and a half that I needed to get fenced in in a way that my Velociraptor goats wouldn't be able to get out. So I had um, some friends of mine who do um, various types of farm stuff and they have about a hundred and fifty or so acres of land near here and they've got forest forested land so what we did was my friends ended up cutting some posts for me off of their land for cheaper than I would have been able to buy them I know not everybody's gonna have that option but it's an idea that maybe you didn't think about before My friends cut me some posts out of their timber and brought them here. We purchased some rough, rough limber, uh, words, words. <laughs> so we purchased some rough lumber, which is really, really cheap. We got maybe three or four truckload fulls for around $55. So we got those boards to add a little more height, a little more stability and strength to the fence that was going to be pretty tall. Guys, back off. Stop it! Stop it! Bird goat! Okay, and then, as far as the fencing itself, I got two inch welded wire fencing that was five foot tall. 
so this was the most expensive part of the fence and what I ended up doing was over time I collected rolls of fencing until I had enough to do all of the fence here and that took a little bit of time but I got it all and I ended up finding several rolls that were on sale so I got really lucky there and then the only other thing I really needed were the um, fencing staples so with the help of my friends we well they mostly <laughs> they came out and they dug the post holes and with the um, posts that they cut off of their own property for me and we put up the fencing and then put up the um, boards but where the ground is so wet at a certain depth here we couldn't really put the fence posts down super deep and also the fact that the land is kinda squishy the land is movable and the goats really like to push and climb on fences we also decided to put up some bracers and I think that was a really good idea to do I don't know that I've seen a lot of fences done with bracers but in this situation it works The squishiest places have the most bracers up, the parts of the property that are the most movable. With the five foot fence and the boards across the top and bottom, the whole fence is about six foot tall. So, yes, the goats have not been able to jump over that. <laughs> I was actually a little worried there for a moment because Buttercup jumps like a deer. But, so far it's been really good. A few pieces of reclaimed materials here and there helped with cost. So, there's my fence. Not too expensive. It's my goat fortress. Maybe it'll help give you a good idea of how to do your goat fence. Especially if you're in a squishy place like I am. 